Oh hey. Didn't see you there. I was just meditating on life and the universe. So yoga, it's kind of um, commonly associated with uh, like sort of weird people and hipsters who are sort of into that sort of uh, spiritual stuff. But if we kind of ignore that part of it, there are actually some very uh, interesting and beneficial sort of exercises uh, that you can do and that will really help with um, a lot of different things like it's good for balance, flexibility, one of the key ones. Uh, there's some good isometric exercises there as well which help boost your strength. Um, another thing that I, I, I've noticed about it is that it's uh, a good way of training your, your, your fitness or physicality without raising your core temperature up too much which means that it is really uh, it's okay to do it just before you go to bed and you don't have to worry about everything being fired up and keeping you awake at night so it's actually uh, a good one to do in the evening I start off with uh, just explaining how I first sort of got in t into it I suppose uh, I was um, I was struggling to improve my flexibility beyond a certain level I'd kind of plateaued with it and all the stretches that I was doing at the time weren't really helping me to get past this certain level so I sort of looked out and I thought I got this book on it and I, I looked at it and I, I learnt quite a lot and I managed to really use the different poses more than the actual pose itself there's a couple of things I'll explain in a bit which are even more useful for just improving your flexibility in general and uh, ever since then I've been trying to find different ways to incorporate it into my own fitness plan. So I've selected a couple of different poses to show you which I think are sort of the most broadly beneficial overall, the less niche ones and um, but before I uh, go into demonstrating them I'm gonna try and explain how like the importance of breathing not just in how to do yoga but in terms of how that helps you to improve your flexibility overall so um, there's a sort of rhythm that you have to sort of find uh, you're generally better off trying to find your own rhythm than trying to force yourself to match a specific one there won't be that much difference in between but uh, if you, you know, if you the general consensus is to count to four so you breathe in as much as you physically can hold that for four seconds let it out all the way so complete exhale and complete inhale every time and just hold it for a bit or or you can do it where you count to four seconds and exhale within that time frame and vice versa inhale within the space of four seconds all the way up and you want to when you're inhaling you want to sort of um, fill your lungs from the bottom up rather than just filling the top part of your lungs if that makes sense you have to try and breathe in and let the air fill up like this um, and that helps a lot with everything and when it comes to stretching say I'm doing this one of the key things is to keep my back straight rather than bending down at like this because all the actual stretch comes from this the tilt here when I bend down if I can do that but the stretch doesn't come on if I do this the stretch comes on so if I inhale when I do that I focus on keeping my back and my posture straight and then when I exhale I relax everything and let the stretch come on a tiny bit more that is kind of, that will really help to uh, push the boundaries of your flexibility a lot. But now let's get into uh, the first pose. So this first one, you, uh, you may have heard of it before. It's referred to as Warrior 2. Um, but it's, it's good for, it kind of works all around the quad. It, it's like an isometric tensing thing, but it strengthens it there. It's also good around your shoulders here because this is the position. So I'll try and uh, explain how you get into it. 
You want this foot pointing that way, the other foot pointing that way. You want your heels to line up together. So this heel should be in line with this heel. Like that. Stick your arms out straight. This. Make sure they're in line. Then just bend your knee until your foot, your shin becomes vertical. You don't want it to be too far over like this. You want it to be like that. You should stretch this inner leg here. It also stretches under your leg here. So that is basically the position. And you just hold it there for 30 seconds to a minute. And you can swap over and do it the other side. But it's basically this kind of stretch essentially, but you're also working your shoulders a bit and just uh, it's a better way of doing it I suppose. So let's move on to the next one. This next one is a, it's quite an interesting one, um, but uh, it is it is very good for your balance in particular. Uh, it also works this muscle here on the side of your leg really well, um, so it's good for sort of your kicking stuff um, primarily balance is one of the real things that it's very good at it's called half moon pose I'll try to demonstrate as best I can so you want your foot pointing that way I'm just gonna lean over until my hand goes on the floor that, just the tips of my fingers there this leg wants to come up until it's level. That, this hand comes up in the air. Like that. And ideally you want to be able to look upwards as well. Um, it's quite, it's a bit of a higher level one, it's not sort of a beginner one. Um, but it does, it is great for your balance. If you press your toes into the ground on the foot you're standing on, you notice it really kind of works your calf and everything. It, Helps you to that helps you to stay balanced as well. If you really like spread your toes out and push them into the floor, kind of as if you're gripping, like if you've got gorilla feet or something. Um, but yeah, that's the half moon pose. Let's move on to the next one. So this next one is called a four-limbed staff pose, and it uh, essentially is like a form of planking, um, but you're also what kind of working the triceps. It sort of works around text and trap area a little bit as well um, but I'll show you what it's like so you can do it from like an extended plank position here you can have your plank drive Uh, this next one is called four-limbed staff pose. Uh, it's essentially like a form of planking, except uh, you're also working the triceps, uh, sort of the pecs and traps area as well. Um, but I'll show you. You can actually kind of do like an extended plank, do sort of like this planking with your arms out straight, and then you can just convert it into this pose. I'm just going to bend my elbows, get low to the floor and then just hold it there, like this. You just want to hold this position about 30 odd seconds or so and then you can actually convert it into this nice stretch as well if you really want. <laughs> and stretch the abs that you've just worked via the planking. So that one is called four limb staff pose. So this next one is a, it's one of my favourite sort of leg stretches and it really stretches the underside of your leg here and your round your calf really well. Um, it's also good if you do it the way I do it for stretching uh, the opposite lat on this side. So you want to bring this foot in across the side of your leg and out like that. 
You want to try and keep your back as straight as you can because you don't want to be leaning like this to try and reach forward. You want to lean, you want that to come from around your hip area. So, you'll, you'll breathe in, straighten up your posture, and then when you exhale, you'll like lean forward. So, you can try and grab your toes. If you can't, then just grab around your leg. But what I also like to do is I like to try and grab my heel there, like that. So it also stretches down here. But if uh, you can't reach there, you can always grab around here as well. And just hold it for about a minute or so. Try and, um, you know, deepen the stretch as you exhale. Try to make sure your back stays straight the whole time and that the pressure comes from you leaning forwards here and not slouching over like this. And then you can swap over, do it the other side. That's called a uh, head to knee forward bend. This one, this next one, uh, this next one is, is another one with a bit of a funny name. It's called Half Lord of the Fishes. I, I don't no idea where it comes from, but to do it, you want to fold one leg in, as if you're crossing your legs almost like this, and then place the other leg over like that, and then you can either use this arm and sort of pull your leg in towards yourself and look now. And uh, then you want to place this hand behind you, get your elbow across and sort of do that to put the stretch on and you can look the other way like that that it sort of really stretches the glutes and uh, this muscle on the side of your leg as well um, there's a bit of a rotation as well um, if you struggle with the flexibility for that you can always do it like this you can always wrap your arm around and pull your leg in that also stretches the same area nicely but there's none of that uh, rotation that like a twist in it. Um, but yeah, that, that's the, the half lord of the fish's pose. <laughs> so this final one, this is the last one, it's called half frog pose. I guess a full frog is if you do both legs at once or something. But So it's you lie on your front like this and you want to either place your arm or if you're even if you're good and you've got good flexibility you can put your whole hand out and you want to grab your leg and kind of pull it towards you like this and push up at the same time or if you're even better you can get your palm of your heel on the top of your foot and rotate your hand that way and just push it down like that. So if you struggle then just try and you know raise it have yourself on your arm like this and just try and pull your leg in as best you can towards you or propping yourself up and you can swap over do it the other way. And that just stretches across this upper quad bit here stretches around the hip as well. It kind of stretches uh, your abdominal area as well from that upwards bit, and that's called half frog pose. So that's about it as far as uh, what I was planning to show you today. I um, hope you found uh, some of it useful or interesting in uh, some way. Please feel free to uh, let me know what you think, and uh, as always. Uh, See you next time.